Juliet Relance is an English actress and producer, known for her roles in the Nick and McMafia. Early Life Relance was born in Ashford, Kent to Anne and David Waters, both teachers of English. One of his grandmothers was Irish. Both his grandfathers were British POWs of the Japanese. His maternal grandfather, Osmond Skinner, spent decades as a banker with the Hong Kong Shanghai Bank. After being shot in the stomach during the Battle of Hong Kong, Skinner was recuperating when he witnessed the St. Stephen's College massacre. He then spent four years in a POW camp. He was able to survive thanks to HSBC contacts who brought him food. Relance's parents moved to the U.S. in 1962, first to Connecticut, and then to Wisconsin in 1969, where his father and mother taught English at the University School of Milwaukee, which Relance attended. He returned to England in 1978. Relance has a sister named Susanna, an opera singer and author and a deceased brother, Jonathan, who was a sommelier at Shea Panis. Career 1980s Relance took the stage name of Mark Relance because his given name, Mark Waters, was already taken by someone else registered with equity. He trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London from 1978 to 1980 under Hugh Crutwell and with Barbara and Peter Bridgemont at the Chrysalis Theatre School in Balham, London. In 1980, he gained his first professional work at the Glasgow Citizens Theatre. In 1982 and 1983, he performed with the Royal Shakespeare Company in Stratford-upon-Avon in London. In 1988, Relance played Hamlet with the RSC in Ron Daniels' production that toured Ireland and Britain for a year. The play then ran in Stratford-upon-Avon. Hamlet toured the U.S. for two years. In 1990, Relance and Claire Van Campen founded Phoebus Cart, their own theatre company. The following year, the company staged The Tempest on the Road. 1990s In 1995, Relance became the first artistic director of Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, a post he held until 2005. Relance directed and acted in every season, in works by Shakespeare and others, including an all-male production of Twelfth Night, in which he played Olivia, and Richard III in the title role. Under his directorate, new plays were also performed at the Globe, the first being Augustine's Oak by Peter Oswald, the writer-in-residence, which was performed in 1999. A second play by Oswald followed in 2002, The Golden Ass or The Curious Man. Relance played the lead in Gillies McKinnon's film The Grass Arena, and won the Radio Times Award for Best Newcomer. In 1993, he starred in Matthew Warch's production of Much Ado About Nothing at the Queen's Theatre, produced by Thelma Holt. His Benedict won him an Olivier Award for Best Actor. 20 Hundreds for his role as Jay in Intimacy, directed by Patrice Giraud, he received real, rather than simulated, Philadio. He took the leading role as British weapons expert David Kelly in Peter Kosminski's The Government Inspector, an award-winning Channel 4 production for which he won the British Academy Television Award for Best Actor in 2005. In 2005, Oswald's third play written for The Globe was first performed, the Storm, an adaptation of Plautus's comedy Rudin's Argo one of the sources of Shakespeare's The Tempest. Other historical first nights were organized by Relance while director of The Globe including Twelfth Night performed in 2002 at Middle Temple, to commemorate its first performance there exactly 400 years before, and Measure for Measure at Hampton Court in summer 2004. In 2007, he received a Sam Wanamaker Award together with his wife Claire Van Campen, Director of Music, and Jenny Tiramani, Director of Costume Design, for the founding work during the opening ten years at Shakespeare's Globe. In 2007, Relance wrote and starred in the Big Secret Live I Am Shakespeare webcam daytime chat room show, 
which toured England in 2007. On September 8, 2007 Derek Jacoby and Relance unveiled a declaration of reasonable doubt on the authorship of William Shakespeare's work, after the final matinee performance of the Big Secret Live I Am Shakespeare webcam daytime chat room show in Chichester. The actual author of Shakespeare's plays is variously proposed to be Christopher Marlowe, Francis Bacon, Edward de Vere, 17th Earl of Oxford, or Mary Sidney. The declaration named 20 prominent doubters of the past, including Mark Twain, John Gilgood, Charlie Chaplin, and actor Leslie Howard, and was made by the Shakespeare Authorship Coalition duly signed online by 300 people to begin new research. Jacoby and Relance presented a copy of the document to William Leahy, head of English at Brunel University London. In 2016, Writer Ben Elton delivered a repost to this batty premise in the episode If You Prick Us, Do We Not Bleed of his television comedy Upstart Crow. The great but self-regarding and pretentious actor Wolf Hall joins Burbage's acting company to play Shylock. The character Wolf Hall confronts Shakespeare with the suggestion that he didn't write his own plays, it is a satirical portrait of Relance and his opinion. In 2007, Relance performed in Boeing Boeing in London. In 2008, he reprised the role on Broadway and won Drama Desk and Tony Awards for his performance. In 2009, Relance won the Critics Circle Theatre Award Best Actor, 2009 for his role of Johnny Byron in Jerusalem written by Jez Butterworth at the Royal Court Theatre in London. 2010s In 2010, Relance starred in a revival of David Herson's verse play La Bette. The play ran first at London's Comedy Theatre before transferring to the Music Box Theatre on Broadway, on September 23, 2010. Also in 2010, he won another Olivier Award for Best Actor in the role of Johnny Byron in Jerusalem at the Apollo Theatre in London. In 2011, he won his second Tony Award for playing the same role in the Broadway production. In 2013, Shakespeare's Globe brought two all-male productions to Broadway, starring Relance as Olivia in Twelfth Night and in the title role in Richard III, for a limited run in repertory. He won his third Tony Award for his performance as Olivia and was nominated for his performance as Richard III. He played Thomas Cromwell in Wolf Hall. BBC Two's adaptation of Hilary Mantel's historical novels Wolf Hall and Bring Up the Bodies. For his performance, he was nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Miniseries or a Movie. Relance was featured as the castaway on the BBC radio programme Desert Island Discs on February 15, 2015. Relance CO starred in the biographical drama Bridge of Spies, released in October 2015 directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Tom Hanks, Amy Ryan, and Alan Alda. The film is about the 1960 U-2 incident and the arrest and conviction of Soviet spy Rudolf Abel and the exchange of Abel for U-2 pilot Gary Powers. Relance, who had previously turned down a role offered by Spielberg in the 1987 film Empire of the Sun, plays Abel and has received unanimous universal acclaim for his performance with many critics claiming it as the best performance of 2015. This St. Louis Post-Dispatch quoted, As the deeply principled Donovan, Hanks deftly balances earnestness and humor. And Relance's spirited performance is almost certain to yield an Oscar nomination. David Edelstein from New York cited it's Relance who keeps Bridge of Spies standing. He gives a teeny, witty, Fabulously non-emotive performance, every line musical and slightly ironic the irony being his forthright refusal to deceive in a world founded on lies. Relance won the Academy Award, BAFTA Award, and New York Film Critics Circle Award in the Best Supporting Actor categories, as well as receiving Golden Globe Award and Screen Actors Guild Award nominations, among other wins and nominations. Relance played the title role in Spielberg's The BFG, a film adaptation of the children's book by Roald Dahl. Filming took place in 2015, 
and the film was released in July 2016. In 2016 Relance Co wrote and starred in the new comedy play Nice Fish at St. Anne's Warehouse, New York. The production subsequently transferred to the Harold Pinter Theatre in London's West End. Relance had a major role in Christopher Nolan's 2017 action thriller Dunkirk, based on the British military evacuation of the French city of Dunkirk in 1940 during World War II. The film CO starred Tom Hardy, Kenneth Branagh, Killian Murphy and Harry Styles. In 2016, Relance played James Halliday in Ready Player One, which was also directed by Spielberg. In 2018, Relance starred in Farinelli and the King on the Broadway stage earning his fifth Tony Award nomination. In late 2018, Relance played in Waiting for the Barbarians alongside Johnny Depp and Robert Pattinson. In June 2019, Relance resigned from the Royal Shakespeare Company due to its sponsorship deal with BP. He last appeared on stage for the RSC in 1989. 2020s In 2020, Relance appeared in Aaron Sorkin's legal drama The Trial of the Chicago 7 which premiered on Netflix. Relance portrayed William Kunstler. Defense Counsel, co-founder of the Center for Constitutional Rights, board member of the American Civil Liberties Union, and active member of the National Lawyers Guild. The film received near-universal praise, and was nominated for six Academy Awards. On September 8, 2019, Relance revealed to Allison A that he was cast to play Satan in American filmmaker Terence Malick's upcoming film The Last Planet. In 2021, Relance, in the American science fiction film Don't Look Up, portrayed Peter Isherwell, the eccentric billionaire CEO of tech company Bash and top supporter of President Janie Orlean. Delayed by the COVID 19 pandemic, Dr. Semmel Weiss, a new play, based on the life of Ignis Semmelweis, written by Stephen Brown and Relance completed an extended run at the Bristol Old Vic in January and February 2022. Relance played the lead role of Dr. Semmelweis throughout the run in Bristol. In 2022, Relance appeared in The Outfit, an American crime drama thriller film directed by Graham Moore, as an English tailor, or, as he prefers to be called, a cutter in Chicago whose main clients are a family of gangsters. In the same year, he appeared in the Luca Guadagnino-directed horror film Bones and All, which premiered at the 79th Venice International Film Festival on September 2, 2022, and Inland, a British drama directed by Fridjof Ryder in his directorial debut. Personal Life Relance is married to director, composer, and playwright Claire Van Campen, whom he met in 1987 while working on a production of The Wandering Jew at the National Theatre. They were married in Oxfordshire on December 21, 1989. Through this marriage, he became a stepfather to her two daughters from a previous marriage, actress Juliet Relance and filmmaker Nada Asha Van Campen. Nada Asha died in July 2012 at the age of 28, following which Relance withdrew from his planned participation in the 2012 Summer Olympics opening ceremony in London and was replaced by Kenneth Branagh. Relance's brother, Jonathan Waters, died in May 2022, following a collision with a vehicle while cycling. Other activities Relance became a patron of Lyft in 2013. He said about the festival, I feel Lyft has done more to influence the growth and adventure of English theatre than any other organisation we have. Relance became patron of the London Bubble Speech Bubbles project in 2015. I found a voice through making theatre and am proud to be the patron of Speech Bubbles, which helps hundreds of children to do the same. Activism Relance has been a supporter of the indigenous rights organization Survival International for many years. He is the creator and director of We Are One, a fundraiser that took place at the Apollo Theater in April 2010. 
The evening was a performance of tribal prose and poetry from some of the world's leading actors and musicians. Relance is a patron of the London-based charity Peace Direct which supports grassroots peace builders in areas of conflict, and of the British Stop the War Coalition. He is a member of the Peace Pledge Union, a network of pacifists in the UK. He performed the life and words of Henri, a man living in war-torn eastern Congo, during a presentation in New York City in 2011. He is also patron of the Outside Edge Theatre Company. It works from the perspective of creating theatre and drama with people affected by substance abuse. It provides theatre interventions in drug and alcohol treatment and general community facilities throughout Britain, as well as producing professional public theatre productions that take place in theatres, studio theatres and art centres. Relance has long been an enthusiastic supporter of conscience, Taxes for Peace Not War, which works to change British tax law to allow conscientious objectors the right to redirect that portion of their taxes which would usually go to the military into nonviolent methods of conflict resolution. In November 2019, along with other public figures, Relance signed a letter supporting Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn describing him as a beacon of hope in the struggle against emergent far right. Nationalism, xenophobia and racism in much of the democratic world and endorsed him in the 2019 UK general election. In December 2019, along with 42 other leading cultural figures, he signed a letter endorsing the Labour Party under Corbyn's leadership in the 2019 United Kingdom general election. The letter stated that Labour's election manifesto under Jeremy Corbyn's leadership offers a transformative plan that prioritizes the needs of people and the planet over private profit and the vested interests of a few. Other views Relance has expressed much interest in crop circles and bonded with, the then, Prince Charles over them. He rejects criticism of his views but I've met Prince Charles a number of times now because he's a great lover of Shakespeare and I think he's a very conscious person and a good influence. Partly, in the end, I felt that because I have an interest in a number of subjects that people try to write off, like Shakespeare's authorship or crop circles they say I'm insane or not mentally stable that somehow, a knighthood makes it a little less easy to write me off.